All right. <coughs> Today is Saturday, the 26th, I believe. Um, it's a little after 7 in the evening. Out in the shed, we got this treasure chest chassis back in the case. Back in the treasure chest. And uh, we got it powered up. And uh, we're going to do an evening scan here real fast. Down and dirty. I don't want this to wind up too much because I'm going to append onto the back of this uh, segment a morning scan. Uh, get up early in the morning. We'll come out and we'll see how she does in the morning and see what we get here. We'll, we'll, we'll check out the, uh, the police band. I guess that's what you call it here uh, this evening and see if we get anything other than our local station. Um, and um, and then we'll do it again in the morning and see if we get any different uh, results out of it. So um, I've got the, the the volume up. It's on a long wire. Um, it's pulling 670 calicoms. Um, there is a one amp fuse in it. I checked it and seen uh, that it was a one amp. I would rather have a 750 slow blow in it, but um, I don't have any 750 milliamp uh, standard inch and a quarter fuse to put in the in the fuse holder. All, all my fuses are uh, the uh, tw I think they're 22 millimeter. They're the short short fuses. Um, so anyway, let's get started here. We're at the uh, at, we're at the top of the dial. So um, let's see uh, what we're going to do now. Um, you remember in the first video, I think it was the intro. I said something about speakers that are in the cabinets and mounted upwards. This one does not have a dust cap and it's got a real light speaker uh, cloth on a thing. So any dust that settles on this thing, thank God it's got a top, a lid, but any dust that gets on this doggone thing in the interim of opening and closing and opening and closing and opening and closing. It's probably going to get filtered down into that voice call, so uh, I would keep it shut <laughs> most of the time, and maybe drip, dr uh, dr uh, drape a uh, a light cloth over the thing while it's in operation to keep the dust from settling onto the thing. Because I know around here there's a lot of dust, yeah. so let's let's keep going. Hopefully you can hear that. Something like this based on your experience, Sergeant. A shooting at a street takeover. Is that common or unfair? There's one. <laughs> Two. My heart, because I was actually on the Price is Right in college. It was one of those things Three. where... Three. Granger.com. Stop by one of 250. Four. Five. That was 50 then. Behind the plate. And a fly ball into right center. Six. Ten. 
Trump is more than just the end. I think it's nine. Or was it ten? Jeez, I don't remember. I hope you're counting. Okay, I think that's our local station. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's pull this up. Go back the other way. That's our local. Okay, that's all I think we're going to get on that. So, uh, anyway, now, uh, something I would like to uh, indicate to everybody uh, that uh, watches my videos. I'm stuck out here in the sphincter of the country, of the U.S., and um, it's it's pretty nice living um, a lot of the times um, if you don't like bugs and you hate dirt and you don't like dust blowing around and uh, and hot weather in the summertime and midsummers and uh, weeds growing up all over the place in your yard after you've already plucked everything out that you could find in the thing and have them come back two weeks later um, it's great for reception um, as long as you don't as long as you can get by with without um, wall warts being plugged in everywhere and uh, the one thing uh, we don't have well that I don't have here where I'm at is a bunch of interference um, I know uh, some of you out there are live in uh, big cities and uh, you're going to have nothing but interference. I mean, uh, I have one guy in, in the Bay Area and he's constantly battling interference all the time. And he has specialized antennas out on his roof. And um, I mean, they're just, they're sucking in everything that they can find in the way of uh, interference <laughs> so I mean but if you live in the rural areas um, you're gonna you're gonna get clean reception pretty much unless you, like I say you're using CFLs or you you got um, halogens going there you got something that requires the wall warts being plugged in and everything else like that um, incandescent lights I don't think will have a problem with it but anyway uh, we're gonna get this uh, polished up here a little bit what we can I'm gonna use this restore finish on it it's pretty good shape and in the morning we're gonna we're gonna finish this off and uh, we'll get it posted up tomorrow uh, afternoon uh, Sunday afternoon and then uh, we'll consider boxing this thing back up and getting it sent off to the owner. Uh, so, thanks for watching this segment. Stay tuned, we'll have the rest later. Okay, back in the shed. It's a little after 6 in the morning. Uh, the sun is just creeping up a little bit now. So, uh, we got this thing powered up, 670 calicoms. Um She's pretty much warmed up. Let's go ahead and see if we got anything going this morning. Not sure what's that all about. All the 
light popping off of all the chrome. And then once you got to the beach, there was a whole nother thing that you enjoyed, you know, the smell of the beach and the sound of the waves and your friends were all there. And, uh, There's two. Three and four, barely there. But it's moving now. You can tell it's drifting away. WBAL AM 1090 on it. Check it out. Washington takes the final snap, and that'll do it. Our final score in FedEx Field. 13. You can tell these are the ones that drift in, in the, at night and they drift out in the morning. You can tell them on the You can tell by that wah 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 Ah! Skeeters are still blossoming. Ah, I don't know, I lost count. 14 maybe, maybe 15, oh, there's another one that's going out. Information, but it's, it's drifting out. <laughs> now, uh, that is the end of the travel. Let's get this. Let's get this uh, thing changed over, and we'll see if if we get anything. Yeah, that's 
that's all we're getting on the other the other uh, switch uh, the other setting is our local station so there ain't nothing else out there so uh, Advanced Ant Archives got a lot of good stuff coming up right after this when Rock, Roll and Remember returns so there we go it's time uh, for the KACM Sunday message brought to you by Pastor Jim Cunningham okay, from the Village of Oak Creek Church of the Nazarene. Okay, we're going to box this thing up. To the Bible and the evidence nice of our and lives. pretty like and uh, God says get it back to the death. owner. We all try to make it up through good deeds. Uh, it's as if we think we'll somehow erase the death penalty we're facing by handing a few bucks to the homeless guy in the corner. We're doing a few hours you know, of community service. We're doing a little service. buffing up the this declares, morning. There is no way we can do enough good to make up for our sin. Here we go. Off. Okay, so, 19, I think in 1932, American Bosch, Treasure Chest Radio, uh, model 200A, on its way home. Thanks for watching. One last parting shot. I wanted to get that in. It's got a coating of that Howard's uh, Restore finish on it. Uh, really makes it pop. Um, the one thing I, I wanted to cover too, also in the regular video, was uh, the better the antenna, the better the reception. Uh, my antennas are really not high tech, uh, but uh, they are long <laughs> that's one version where uh, they call them long wires um, my antennas are about mm, 50 feet minimum I think 50 feet I think that might be uh, might be the length that I have I haven't really measured them but they stretch out there and they have they go different directions so um, the better the antenna you can put on these is the, the better the reception is going to be and also if you're in a in a city like I say you're you're going to pick up everything under the sun so that's all I wanted to say so thanks for watching again <laughs>